okay i just need to quickly go out for a few minutes i'll be back oh before i got a phone call i was just talking about the fact that like um i spend a lot of time with myself and go out by myself i feel like um sometimes you can feel a bit or maybe at first the idea of doing that can feel a bit weird because i feel like for the most part like for instance in high school you're so used to doing things with your friends like it's a thing of like i'm not gonna try out a new restaurant on my own i'm gonna try it with my friend and if my friend is not able to go then i'm not going you know but i feel like for me i just really got out of that mentality like i think it was just a thing for me it's like i don't I think I just kind of told myself, like, I don't always need to have someone to go to a place with in order to go. You know, like, I should also learn to enjoy to have... in. I should also teach myself to have the ability to enjoy certain experiences without it always being accompanied with another person, you know? Like, for instance, I spend a lot of time in my body. So, I basically spend a lot of time with myself. So, if I'm able to go to a restaurant with my friend and enjoy that then surely i should be able to go to a restaurant by myself and also enjoy it you know because i feel like it's obviously great to have relationships with other people like platonic or romantic or whatever but also to remember to cater to myself and also spend time with myself you know and i feel like for me university has really afforded me that on a larger scale you know like i have been granted so many opportunities just to do things and experience things on my own and it's so fun like it's actually so fun because i feel like for me um in high school it was obviously great oh my word it was phenomenal like being able to do so many things with my friends and stuff but also i feel like university me has just been able just to go out on my own and have such a great time like can i tell you i sometimes do this thing whereby i literally will like find an event to basically attend like for instance something that i'm interested in and something that i like or whatever and i literally will just show up by myself i will show up by myself and find a friend there you know like i remember um in the beginning of university first semester i think because um for the most part like i've always had friends in my life i and also, like, the last time I basically had to start over, because in high school, I switched high schools. Like, I started a new school, the boarding school one in grade 10, right? So, I basically had to start over. So, I hadn't started over in over, like, three years at that point, because I started first in, in 2023. So, like, starting over, especially in a university space, and it's also so much bigger. There's just gang people. Like, you don't even know where to start. So, for me, I was just like, let me show up to the places that I have interest in and then I could potentially find people who are also like to me. And that's exactly what happened. Like, I literally went to a fashion event recently. It was one of the creative footprints from, like, Drip Economics and stuff like that. And I obviously, you know, you're surrounded by people that like fashion. You also like fashion. You also like dressing up. They also like dressing up. But then um, I met, like, this the sweetest girl, oh, my word. And we literally just spent the whole day together. And I remember, like, during the day while we were still together. Mind you, I've literally only known this girl for, like, two hours. But bestie, <laughs> that's my bestie, you know. Haven't seen her since. But it was just a thing of, like, you're able just to meet so many amazing people. And we actually had such similar, like, hobbies and stuff like that. Like, she's also, like, a crochet girly i'm a crochet girly like it was like energies were definitely like matching up you know so i feel like for me just teaching myself that like it's obviously great to do things with other people but i also shouldn't neglect that time with myself you know but i also then shouldn't neglect that time with other people as well because i feel like for me i'm not the best at texting and i guess low-key keeping and communication and contact which is something i really wanted to like work on this and like i remember talking to one of my friends and i was saying like yeah this thing of me like not being that accessible honestly has to stop <laughs> no it's gotta stop because it's not cute you know what i'm saying like it's really not cute and i feel like when you have to call yourself out sometimes it's not really that nice because you're like damn i actually do have flaws who would have thought <laughs> yeah i'm literally just joking but like yeah you know just calling yourself out because who gonna check you <laughs> who gonna check you you know but um yeah man i feel like the rest of this year is just giving like trying out new restaurants trying out new video concepts on my channel because i remember i took a two-month hiatus at some point during uh this year and it, i just really learned a lot of things really reflected just really got time just to sit with myself and just like 
truly unpack certain feelings the feelings that i was unpacking was maybe why i found it so weird to create the content that i want to make or i found it weird to find myself i don't know but like it was just a lot of like thinking and feeling and you know yeah so coming out of that i literally was just like um it never ever in terms of like my social media and the things that i post it never really needed to ever be that serious like coming out of that hiatus i just really learned that like at the end of the day posting and creating content and making videos and all these things is supposed to be fun you know like let me not be so caught up in having these really nice aesthetics and making everything so cinematic i mean i don't already do that but like let me not be so caught up in trying to make my videos look a certain way to the point where i don't even create videos altogether you know like i feel like coming out of it coming out of the hiatus i was just like let me make this fun you know like let me make it something that i really do look forward to doing again you know and you see a lot on my instagram like i post all let me not say all the time but I, like i post quite frequently and it's because it's fun for me like i just like posting pretty pictures and taking pretty pictures and like making my feet look really cute you know but like i think for me it was just saying to myself like let me just have fun with my social media pages you know like let me just have fun with it let me try out different video concepts you know like today if we're just sitting and yapping let's sit and yap if we're going on a hike let's go on a hike if we're watching a movie let's go watch a movie you know i think it's just like allowing for myself to also just like really express my creativity you know and yeah um yeah so i feel like my videos coming up now are just gonna be a bunch of videos of me like cooking me just like dressing in clothes and probably just like trying out new restaurants going out a bit more because also with all the clothes that i bought i told myself i need to start wearing those clothes and also let's wear them to a cute little restaurant too hello hi you know um yeah and also part of the reason as to why i sometimes find it hard to make videos is because when i first started my channel a lot of people told me like make your videos longer make your videos longer guys i don't have the capacity for that and i did start making my videos longer great but also i wasn't really having that much fun because editing became very tedious yeah like it just became like it wasn't fun anymore you know because now i'm having to edit like 12 hours worth of content for like a 10 minute video like for like a 25 minute video actually and i also just have never really wanted to be those youtubers that post like 30 plus minute videos like i know i've done it before but i don't want that to be my everyday daily you know like i really do like a cute 10 minute video just something just to nibble on and just to grasp you know something just very digestible even for myself and stuff because obviously you know how you rewatch your own videos while you're editing yeah you know like i must also be like mm, i like the body of work i produced but um that aside um but yeah so <laughs> anyways mwah, no boss